James Wan is a fan of movies and has an extreme passion for movie making. There are certain directors that make their adoration for movies obvious just by watching the films they make. A short list for me would be Martin Scorsese, Brian De Palma, Quentin Tarantino, and Alfred Hitchcock. I could see all of the filmmakers I just listed going about directing The Conjuring or any other haunted house picture in a similar fashion. The Conjuring takes its time with its scares and leaves you waist deep in suspense until you can't take it anymore. And then it makes you wait longer. Yes, the first half of the film, give or take, is slow, but it's the good kind of slow. It's the kind of slow that only a true master can deliver and deliver well. This method also reminded me heavily of many Asian horror films I've seen, especially those from Japan. The work of Takashi Shimizu comes to mind. Asian horror directors really love relishing in the suspense of the moment and treating their cameras as if they were main characters. And I have to say that as far as horror is concerned, that's the way to go. What I love most about James Wan are the films he loves and his masterful ability to not only mimic them perfectly, but surpass their own genius from time to time. For this type of film, he is for sure the man to hire. You can see signs of his growth over the years spread out through his entire catalog. One scene in particular stands out in my mind, and it is that of Kevin Bacon running circles in a parking garage, headed straight for the top with a gang of hoods chasing behind him, thirsty for his vigilante head. To the roof where there is no escape. Great scene, perfectly staged and executed. When I finished James Wan's death sentence, I couldn't help but see Taxi Driver. Death Wish, and pretty much every other vigilante justice film I've ever seen, mashed into one blood-soaked, insanity-driven homage. Is it one of my favorites of the genre? No but I can't say it didn't leave an impression. Another thing I've noticed about James Wan movies is their anti-raising final acts. I've seen this as a plus or minus, depending on which movie we're talking about. The ending of Death Sentence was basically Taxi Driver on speed. The last act of Insidious plays like an alternate ending to the movie Poltergeist. It's almost like he's saying, I've seen these movies, I love these movies, but I want to make my version of them. I want to go louder, crazier, and take more chances, especially with the mountain of possibilities that modern technology has gifted upon a new generation of filmmakers. With Insidious, I absolutely loved his choices, but The Conjuring goes a little too typical in the end, too Hollywood studio for my tastes. But even saying that, it was played beautifully by the cast, the whole way through, especially Lily Taylor in the mother role, and all the young actresses helming the daughter roles, they only make the scares scarier. The Conjuring wound up being a tremendous ode to 1970s supernatural horror, surpassing some of the best titles in the genre's history.